Hey everybody, welcome to Anthony's Outdoors, where we bring the outdoors to you. Today, we're on the beautiful Chippewa Flowage, staying at Treeland's Resort for their second annual Fall Muskie Bash. They bring in a bunch of guides, they talk over what's been working, what's not been working, lures, spots, and then we go out and try and catch them. Hope you guys are in for a good show. Come on, let's go get them. So here in the lodge, we're getting ready for some uh, updates from the guides on what's been working and what hasn't been. So uh, we just bought a 14-inch uh, Jake off of from Jinx Bait Shop, bright orange. Says it works great in overcast conditions, so we're going to give it a shot. So uh, behind me is where we're going to have our class and uh, eat some good food, and we'll get back to you with uh, some of the tips and tricks that they are uh, going to tell us. All right, honey, what did you pick up there on your raffle? It's a 10 inch headlock. Yep. Good job. Good job, honey. Good pick. Yes. That's getting trolled tomorrow. Second annual fall musky bash. Uh, we just got out here and we are in Moore's Bay right now fishing a deep point. The uh, guides last night were telling us to find anything that's steep and deep near the original river channel and that should give us some success so Courtney right now is throwing a swimming dog just real slow just kind of crawling it along trying to keep it in that mid mid area water column hopefully bring the fish in and take a look at our suckers and then we've got one large sucker down about 17 feet and another medium sucker down about uh, 11 to 12 feet so we'll see how that does we'll fish a bunch of these rocky points and steep breaks here in Moores Bay if nothing's happening, then we can switch over to trolling. So that's the update for now. We'll bring you back when we start getting into some fish. With that being said... <laughs> she hates it when I say that. Those are some brave deer. Oh, that's three of them swimming across the lake. That's hilarious. I never realized they swam that efficiently. Yeah, they're fast. That's pretty cool. You think they're gonna go on that island right there? Yeah. Or, you think so? or they might be swimming all the way across. That's what I'm wondering. Well, that's one of the beauties of being up here in the Northwoods on a quiet late fall day is you get to see wildlife that you wouldn't see during the summer during with all the boat traffic. So it's dead calm out here. Perfect, perfect weather for November. So there you go, honey. You got to see three live deer. <laughs> they decided to continue their journey. No, there's four. Are there? Yeah, there is four. Up front, a third, and then one far behind. I am shocked that they are that good of swimmers considering their long, skinny legs. That's impressive. They literally crossed... I mean, that's hundreds of yards. Alright, it's about 2.30, and uh, we've got Courtney throwing a bulldog right now. Still soaking some suckers. Got one running about 12 feet, the other one running about 18 feet. We're in about 23 feet of water in a neck down area. And uh, we're just, there are 38 boats out right now. Or I'm sorry, 38 fishermen out right now for this uh, musky bash. And only two muskies have been caught. Uh, both of them were 42 inches, one on a bulldog and one on a sucker. So. We tried some trolling for a while, it was unsuccessful. We did mark some really good spots with a lot of uh, bait fish on the screen, but nothing was biting. So we're not the only ones struggling, but we're gonna keep grinding it out until sundown. So then we gotta go back in for dinner and then talk with the guides about what happened today. So stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you. 
evening time's coming, and uh, still got two suckers out. Right now we're throwing a 11-inch uh, depth rater. And, uh, just trying to pry these fish off the bottom. We got one sucker that's just bouncing the bottom the whole time, and another one midway up. And uh, we're just trying to. The reason I throw in the depth rater is to get them to come in. And if they see a sucker, then they turn on the sucker. But no luck. Again, 38 people out here on the lake right now with this musky bash. Only two muskies have been caught. So it's just not been our day. Yesterday, one boat alone caught a 50 and a couple 40, 40 inch class muskies. Um, and that boat today so far has caught nothing. So that's musky fishing for you. Alright, we're just going to change lures off of our Jake, and Courtney caught a little pike. Not bad. It's snowing like crazy out here, so we're going to uh, get out of the net and get some video of that. Okay, Courtney caught her first fish ever trolling. 24 inch pike. Let him go. Good job, honey. Oh. Well, the 2018 musky bash was a bust for us. After Courtney caught that 24 inch pike, the wind started howling out of the east, blowing rain, sleet, snow, and uh, it was just unsafe for us to be out there um, in my 16 foot boat. So we got off the water and started packing up. Little did we know that the snow would really start coming down and we ended up having to drive through between three to five inches of snow uh, for about three hours on the way home, which made travel really difficult to own a boat. So we got home safe, and uh, yeah, the weather just wasn't cooperating, as usual with musky fishing, but that's the way it goes. It can be boom or bust, and we just caught it at the wrong time. We still had a blast at the musky bash, got a ton of great information from the guides. I want to thank Pete Rich, Steve Jensen, Tom Bali. Uh, their presentations were excellent. Also, Jordan Weeks from the DNR, I want to thank him. He had some excellent statistical information. Um, he's been, been the musky guy for the DNR for quite a while now, and he just had some great info. So it was really eye-opening to see. I want to thank all those guys. I want to thank Treelands Resort for hosting the event. Again, accommodations were awesome. Food was good. Beer was great. And uh, we're looking forward to next year. If you guys liked what you saw in this episode of Anthony's Outdoors, please comment down below, like, and subscribe to my channel. Every subscription helps and it's completely free. Until the next episode of Anthony's Outdoors, make sure you guys get outside.